Hi guys, this is Sadek from Doadmin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to check your current active slot on your Android phone and likewise how to change the current active slot and switch to the inactive slot. So we'll show you two different methods of getting this job done. The first one is using the password command, whereas the second method is using the RP recovery. Do keep in mind that the steps are applicable across all the Android phones and across all the Android versions and you don't need to unlock the bootloader. If you are simply checking and changing the slots, for that there is no need to unlock the bootloader. But if you are, want to flash a file as well after the changing the slot, then in that case you want to unlock the bootloader. But simply checking and changing the slot does not require an unlock bootloader. With that said, let's get started. So first and foremost, you have to verify whether your phone has AV partition or not. So to perform that check, you have to download the triple check app from Play Store. So just download and install this app from Play Store. Let me show you this is the link I've given here. So once you install the app, simply launch it onto your phone and now check out the section next to seamless system updates. As you could see over here, our phone is supported to have an AV system partition. So this means our phone has dual partition and we could follow this guide. On the other hand, some phones like the Redmi Note 5 Pro does not have an AV partition. As you could see from here, it's only showing the seamless system update is not supported and it only have a partition. So these devices cannot proceed ahead and in those devices you cannot change slot because they only have one partition. Whereas on, on all the other phone that shows a seamless system update as supported. For example, I have performed the check on my Poco F4, OnePlus 70 and Pixel 6a and all these phones have the seamless system updates. In fact, all the phones which was launched with Android 8 or 9 out of the box will have a seamless system updates and AB partition. So with that said, since our phone is now having the AB partition, Let's now proceed ahead and change the slots. Let me so for that I'll first off use the password command. So for that you have to download the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and then extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in E Drive. You could extract them anywhere onto your PC. Once that is done, you have to enable USB debugging as well. So USB debugging is required to execute ADB command. So for that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, now this screen might vary depending on the phone and the ROM you are using. For example, in case of Xiaomi, you could go to my device and from here you could go to info and specs and tap on MIUI version 7 times. In case of any other phone, you have to tap on build number 7 times. Once you have tapped on build number 7 times, in case of Xiaomi, you have to go to additional settings. Whereas in case of any other phone, it's usually under system developer option. So in case of Xiaomi, it's under additional settings. In all the other phones such as Pixel and OnePlus, you have to go to system menu. And from there, go to developer option. And now the rest of the screen will be same in all the phones. So from here, just enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Let me show you once. So enable the toggle next to this and you will get a prompt on your phone. On, in case of Xiaomi phones, you have to wait for 10 seconds. Whereas in all the other phone, you could simply enable it right away. So let me now enable the USB debugging and tap on OK. Once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So you might get an RSA key prompt on your phone as well. So make sure to tap on allow. And once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to the platform tools folder. And from here, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools folder as you could see. Now just type in ADB devices and hit enter. Okay, just a minute. So now go to the platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside the platform tools folder as you could see. So now you have to type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone to the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone. And use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, you will now have to boot your phone to the fastboot mode. So let me show you how this could be done. So for that, go to the platform tools folder, launch CMD inside that and type in ADB reboot bootloader. So type in this command and hit enter. You could also use the hardware key combination, but the hardware key combinations are not universal. It varies depending on the phone, whereas this ADB command is universally accepted across all the Android phones. So I'm using this command itself and your phone should now go to the fastboot mode. And this fastboot screen might vary depending on the phone that you own. It's the Poco F4, so you are getting the screen. On all the other phone, it might vary. So anyways, let's now verify if our phone is in the fastboot mode or not. So for that, type in fastboot devices and hit enter. If you're getting a serial ID, as you could see, this means your PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode. However, if you're not getting a serial ID, then in that case, you have to install fastboot drivers. I have made a video and a guide as well, on that as well. So you could refer to my guide or the video and install the fastboot drivers. Likewise, once you have installed the drivers, 
Use the Windows X shortcut key, then choose Device Manager. And from here, you have to expand the Android phone section. Then make sure under Android phone, your phone is being shown as Android Bluetooth interface. So as you could see, it's showing as Android Bluetooth interface, and we are also getting a serial ID next to Fastboot. So both this signify that our phone is on the Fastboot mode. So we could now start off with the steps. So first off, let me show you the steps to check your current active slot. So for that, you just have to copy paste this command fastboot get war all. So just copy paste the command here and hit enter. It will bring up a long list of things. You just need to check out the value which is next to boot to the current slot. So just copy this bit of value from here and then launch the CMD window. Then right click on the CMD icon and select find. And now just paste fastboot boot to the current slot and hit enter. So as you could see in my case, the current slot is A. So my current partition is A. So whatever value you have, it should be either A or B. Make sure to note down that value right now itself. So note down this value or take a screenshot and remember this value forever. So as of now, in our case, the current slot is partition A. So now let me show you the next step. So next step, if you want to change the slot, so if you want to, you could simply use the password set active other. So if you have an A slot as active partition it will be changed to b if you have the b slot it will change to a so for in this command you don't need to write the partition name it will automatically switch to the other active partition so with this our slot has been changed to slot b you could verify the same as well again type in password get for all and let's verify this once again and as you could see the bootloader is current slot b so with this we are now on the slot b you could once again change the partition by simply writing fastboot get set active other and it will change back to a so a partition has once again been set back to a and let me show you once again as you could see we are now in the partition a so in this command you don't need to specify the slot just write in set active other and it will switch to the other slot on the other hand if you want to manually write the partition name as well then you could simply use the fastboot set active a command or the fastboot set active b command so currently i am on slot as you can see is the active slot is a so let's now manually change the slot to b by writing the partition name as well so you could use the password set active b command and paste it here and, and we will we have now manually specified the partition name so just copy this command and paste it here just a minute let me copy the entire command so just you have to copy this command and simply execute it in the platform tools folder so type in this command and hit enter and we have now manually name the partition b and our phone will now switch to partition b so let's now verify the same so password get for all as you could see we are now back to the partition b likewise you if you want to switch to partition a you could once again write the command and from here just switch the command to partition a for the command for b will be same just switch a up from b and write this command and it will manually switch to the partition a so type in this command and you could verify the same as well so as you could see currently we are back to the partition a so here's the result so either use the fastboot set active or you could directly use the fastboot set active other in other whatever is the inactive partition will become active and likewise or you could also specify the partition manually yourself as well apart from that if you want to flash a file to the current active slot then first and foremost you have to unlock the bootloader for that i made a separate guide as well you could refer to my guide and unlock the bootloader do keep in mind that doing so would wipe off all the data from your phone and it might nullify the warranty as well so proceed ahead at your own risk and once you've unlocked the bootloader you could then simply flash the file using this syntax which is the password flash partition name and file name if you are currently on the a slot and you want to file the flash the file in the a slot itself then you don't need to mention the slot name so for example if you're Currently, active slot is slot A, and you want to flash the system file in the system partition A, then you could simply execute this command itself. On the other hand, if you're currently on the slot A and you want to flash the file in slot B, then you will have to manually input the partition name as well. So, but to be on a safer side, you could execute the command using the partition name as well. So, even if you're on slot A, you could still write the partition name as well to be on a safer side. Either you could directly use the command if you want to flash on the same partition or you could type in the partition name as well. So if you're currently on partition A and you want to flash the system file, you could in partition A to either directly use this command or you could use the fastboot flash system underscore A and system.img. This is done just to be on the safer side. Likewise, if you're currently on partition A and you want to flash the file to partition B, then you will have to specify the partition as well. 
So for, for that, you have to use the password flash partition B partition IMG. So for example, if you are on partition A and you want to flash the system file to partition B, then type in password flash system underscore B system dot IMG. This will flash the file to system B partition. So this was all from this guide on how you could do so for using the password command. Now let me show you how you could check and change your active slot using the TWRP recovery. For that, you first and foremost have to install the recovery file. If you haven't installed the recovery, you could refer to my guide as well on how to install TWRP recovery. Or you could also use the recovery for one time usage. For one time usage, you could just boot your phone to the recovery mode using the, let me show you how to temporarily boot to recovery. For that, first of all, you have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. Once you are in the fast boot mode, download the recovery file onto your phone and just rename it to TWRP. Then place the recovery file in the platform post folder and rename it to TWRP. So the complete name becomes TWRP.IMG file. Now you want to boot for just one time usage. Then you could simply execute the command fastboot boot. So just type in fastboot boot TWRP.IMG and it will boot your phone for just one time usage. On the other hand, if you want to permanently flash the recovery file, then you could refer to my guide and install the recovery file. In my case, I have already flashed the recovery. So let's now boot our phone to this recovery mode. So if you're currently in the fast boot mode, you could use the fast boot reboot recovery command. On the other hand, if you are currently in the OS, then you have to use the ADB reboot recovery. In fast boot, you have to use the fast boot reboot recovery. In ADB, you have to use the ADB reboot recovery. So just type in the command and hit enter and your phone should now boot to the installed recovery. In my case, I'm using a modified TWRP recovery. So let me show you that as well. So currently my phone is booting to the TWRP recovery. And just to re-verify the same as of now, as you can see currently I'm in the slot A as it is shown by the password command. So now under the recovery, go to reboot. And as you could see, it's showing as the current slot as A. So from here, you just need to tap on the slot A and slot B button and the slot will be changed. So if you tap on slot B now, it will now change the slot. So you could now verify the same as well. And as you could see, the current slot is B. Just to be on the safer side, you should once again reboot up to recovery mode and it will we will then verify the same as well. So let's now perform a reboot to recovery. As you could see, our phone is now booting back to TWRP. And with this, the partition should be changed to B. Let me show you. So let's now go to reboot. And as you could see, we are now on the slot B. Similarly, you could once again go back to slot A. So for, in some cases, you might get a warning that there is no OS installed. However, if you already have an OS installed, then that's just a false notion and nothing to worry about. You could easily skip that warning message. For example, I have the system IMD file across both the slots A and B. So if I change my slot to slot A and then I try to reboot to recovery, I might get a warning. So as you could see, I'm getting a warning that no OS is installed. However, just it's just a false positive. And since because I already installed the system file to both the partition, so I could simply perform a reboot and boot my file back to the recovery mode without any issues. So if you are getting this warning message and you are sure that you have an OS installed, then you could simply ignore this message. So as you could see, we are back in the slot A. Just to reconfirm, I'll show you the fastboot screen. So go to reboot and you could see currently in slot A. So likewise, you could also verify the same from the fastboot command itself as and when you want. But as of now, fastboot command will not work because currently you are in the TWRP recovery. In case of TWRP, as of now, your ADB command will work, but your fastboot command will not work. So if you want to use fastboot command, then you'll have to exit the recovery and boot back to fastboot. For that, you have to go to the reboot tab and make sure to select bootloader. This will boot your phone back to fastboot mode. Before rounding off, make sure to go back to the slot which for you, you were initially. In my case, I was initially on slot A. So just to show you, this was the first time I executed the get for all command. And as you could see, initially I was on the slot A. So make sure you are on the same slot while you are exiting if you're just performing a check. On the other hand, if you were flashing something, then you could change the slot. That's not a, a cause of concern. But if you are currently have just using for the check, then you could see I was currently initially on the slot A. So as of now, also in a slot A. And so guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching. And you could now reboot your phone to the OS. Just select the system and it will boot to the OS. So let me show you that as well before rounding off the video. And you could easily switch the slot as and when required. Generally, the password method is used because you just don't want to flash the TWRP recovery. That's completely understandable because you could easily carry out this job using the password command itself. If you are simply performing a check, you don't need to unlock the bootloader. But if you want to flash a file in the partition, then for that, for flashing, you have to unlock the bootloader. So on that note, I round up this video. Thanks a lot for watching.